up guys this is brent demartini at demartini rv we just got in the new 2025 dynamax europa 34 ss it's a brand new floor plan i'm really excited to show you guys let's go check it out this coach has the lippert padded marine tread steps and a keyless entry right here a lighted door handle let's go check out the inside okay here's the inside of the new europa 34 ss so this is the floor plan that they have in their DX3 model already. Um, and it's got all of the seating on one side on a flush floor slide, which gives you a huge space here on the floor space in the middle of the coach. And it gives you a, a really big kitchen with a lot of storage uh, counter space, a lot of storage in the kitchen, a big 40 inch TV that you sit across from with your theater seating with a, a bunch of storage back there. Some more storage up here over the microwave. There's just a ton of storage in this kitchen. You got two banks of drawers there, a flip up countertop. So as if you didn't have enough countertop, I mean, there's just a ton here. It's a really great kitchen. And there's this easy access port for trash or you can just throw a small thing down there and then you, you take your trash can out right here on the side. All right, here's the theater seating. And this is sitting directly across from the TV. So it's got some cool features here. It's got massage and heat, lumbar support, a cup holder light. And it really reclines really far back. This is about as comfortable as it gets for RVing. All right, and then here's the dinette. The dinette is a hinge off the wall. It goes down um, in between the two benches to create a bed. You just use these cushions from the backs, put them on the top. There's one more cushion that's in the closet back there. Creates a nice easy bed, uh, but also it's easy to access underneath here. So you can get to the seat belts, you can get to the storage and those just stay up on a hinge. And there's an outlet in that one if you wanted to charge something or plug something in, a printer or something like that, you could do that down here if you're using this as an office. And then you've got a 12 volt refrigerator. This is the new Norcold 12 volt, 15 cubic foot refrigerator. So it's huge and it's an RV compressor driven 12 volt fridge. So it's gonna be highly efficient and it just runs directly off your battery, which is an advantage to your inverter. So you've got the full 3000 watts of inverter power available to you and your fridge isn't using any of that. So that means you can run a whole bunch of stuff like microwave, coffee maker, whatever, off of your outlets in your coach, just off your lithium batteries. The 12 volt compressor fridge is gonna be really efficient and it gets cold a lot faster than the old two way fridges. So that's the advantage here is that this one gets colder faster and it's it's going to um, use less power than a residential fridge. And it also has the integrated latches that keep these doors shut um, because it's an RV fridge designed to be in an RV. Here's the pantry just on the other side of the fridge. Gives you three easy to open drawers that are nice and deep. And then you've got a, a big space up top. They give you this barn door. It's got a heavy duty magnet that magnets it to the wall back there. And then it latches over here like this. So you can get privacy for the, for the bathroom. And then it easily goes to the wall. They also added a secondary latch for travel here. And your sink is outside of the water closet. So if someone's using the bathroom, you can still brush your teeth. It's a nice feature in this floor plan. It also gives you a nice big vanity with a lot of storage, a lot of counter space. And all of that storage under the sink there. This has the washer dryer prep. So, and unlike the other Europa floor plans, this one can actually handle a stacked washer dryer. So you can do um, two units in this or you can just keep it like this if you don't need that and you can have a lot of extra storage Spot there with um, the hooks up top and then you know, you can put shoes and stuff 
down on the bottom. So here's the shower and the toilet. And this is gonna be an extra big shower compared to the DX3 34KD. This is a 30 by 36 inch shower. And I love this door. This is my favorite door um, because it is easy to close, but it also gives you so much room inside um, because it's got this radius up top that brings the top um, further away from you and it gives you a lot more elbow room in here um, and it also has the oxygenics shower head that's going to save water and give you a little better pressure just off your water pump so great shower and then it's got a macerating toilet here and the bedroom um, is a nice private bedroom has a door to shut it off it uh, gives you a king bed that does not have to fold to bring the slide in so this this king bed just butts into these cabinets here when you bring that slide in and there's no folding needed and it is an actual king. And then you've got um, little tables on both sides. You've got a ton of wardrobe space in here. So you have wardrobes on both sides. There's all your stuff they give you. It's got the, um, the side tables for the theater seats and the, and the shades for up front in the cab. And then these are all cedar line drawers. You got, look at this, you got six medium sized drawers and these two massive drawers up top. And then you've got a good space here for putting all your AV equipment, stuff for the TV. And it's sort of like a side table. You've got the auto motion lights for the, for the closets. And then another bunch of storage above the bed. Uh, also, I like that this bed is on a slide, which gives you windows on both sides of the bed. So you can get a little bit of a breeze there if you leave those open at night. Um, you've got outlets and USB on both sides of the bed with, with a side table so that we can fit our waters and our phone. And actually there's more storage behind this TV. So a little bit of a secret storage compartment there. You can put some stuff and then you've got uh, air conditioner that's um, dedicated for the bedroom that is a 15,000 BTU GE roof air you've got another one up front here both of those run off of your 8,000 watt diesel generator and just a great floor plan a lot of floor space this is new they changed this bed setup so that it's just an easy up and out of your way so that you can get into the cab without bumping your head and you don't have to duck under to get down into the cab. All right, a couple more things up here. We've got our Victron Energy Smart Meter. That is so that we can monitor our lithium batteries. What we're gonna wanna do is just put that on percentage mode and that's gonna give us the best representation of where our batteries at, are at. Since we're sitting out here in the sun with that thousand watts of solar, it's got those batteries fully topped off at 100%. Another thing that's unique about this floor plan for the Europa, this is the only floor plan that has a flush floor slide. So it's going to um, be a lot nicer. Uh, you don't have to have your, your feet hanging in the air when you're sitting on that sofa. Um, it's a more expensive slide. It's harder to do. And so that's why not all floor plans have it, but uh, it's really nice to have it on this floor plan. And we've also got um, the Firefly Multiplex right here. So you've got all of your screens, everything's located here, easy to use. You've got a mobile app, you can do all this stuff, your lights, your tanks, your climate control, your energy turning on and off the inverter, auto gen start and slides leveling everything can be done right there and then up above here they do still do the hdmi wiring to all tvs so i like to plug in an apple tv and you can put that right here plug that in here and it's going to run out to all of your tvs so you can stream one thing off one account and run it on all tvs at the same time all right here's the cab on the m2 plus chassis this came out last year and they redid the whole dash. So we've got steering wheel controls, a uh, nicer dash up front. Um, the AC seems to work better up here. Um, they moved this camera screen up higher so it's up out of your way. It used to be down here. This is a nice new screen that they came out with last year as well. 
It's got the nav button. It's a Garmin navigation, so it's really easy to use, and it's a nice big screen. Um, this also has CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can get all your apps, your navigation on that. Um, this has Air Ride in the rear. It has Air Ride seats up front. And so it's going to be a nice smooth ride up here. You can adjust these seats. You can go up and down. If you just put a little bit of air in them, they, they'll go up like this. And then if you want to sink back down to whatever level feels comfortable, you can just mess with the, the little controls on the side. And then it has a tilting on the back and everything. They're very comfortable seats. Um, but yeah, if you're going down a, a bumpy road, having these seats adjusted correctly is going to make a world of difference in how smooth and, and how nice the drive is. All right, here we are on the outside of the 2025 Dynamax Europa 34 SS. So we got our Truma AquaGo instant tankless hot water heater on demand. Here's the first storage compartment. Got a good amount of storage. There's some upper storage in there as well. There's an outlet in that compartment. Here in the second one, you can see there's also a good amount of upper storage. Outside TV with, with a JBL soundbar. They're all smart TVs on this coach. This is the third compartment. There's a good amount of up um, up high storage. <laughs> in the third compartment, there's a good amount of storage in here. Another outlet, there's some upper storage so you can put tables, chairs, stuff like that. Here's the awning on the outside. It's a dual pitch armless awning with a motion sensor. So the dual pitch allows it to come down lower, give you more usable shade. It's got a cool design on the bottom there. This bar supports for the second pitch, which allows it to come down really low. Um, there's no arms on the side of the coach, so you don't have to look at those in your mirror while you're driving down the road and you don't have to hit your head on them when you're walking by. And it's also got lights integrated to the awning. Those are dimmable. And they also just started putting another strip of lights up here. So you get lights from both sides, which really lights up your patio side at night. It's really cool. The motion sensor on this awning allows it to come back in on its own. So if it's shaking too much, it's going to come back in all by itself as long as you have your batteries on. All right, back here, we've got one more compartment. This one's insulated. That's because the tanks are in there. And this coach has the Explorer package, which is going to give you a thousand watts of solar and the 600 amp hours of lithium batteries insulated compartment where the tanks are with an auxiliary electric heater on the other side where all the dump stuff is. And then here in this last compartment, we have another upper storage. This one's pretty wide, pretty good. And there's a quick connect here for propane. So you can hook up your barbecue. You've got a 12,000 pound hitch and that's a true 12,000. You can actually tow 12,000 with this coach. No problem. Um, reverse lights two cameras up top there. The Europa having propane, they've got the propane here on the driver's side at the rear. And here's your wet bay. So you can do your macerator dump or you can bypass that, do a regular dump. The macerator is gonna chew up everything in here in this gray box and it's gonna pump out through this extendable hose here. So it's just a, a nice, clean, easy setup. And your water filter is easy to get to right there. They've got an outside shower, cable in, and a satellite feed in if you have a tripod satellite that you want to move around, get it away from the trees. There's your furnace. 8,000 watt Onan Cummins quiet diesel generator. That runs off the same fuel tank as the engine, down to a quarter tank. And in here, we've got a power cord reel. So we have this thing right here, and it's got some rollers. So you can bring this cord down through here and easily put it away by just pushing this button. 
it's going to automatically retract it and save you a lot of hassle, especially when it's cold. Here's the battery compartment. This is the Relion RB300 LT lithium batteries. So when you get the Explorer package, you get those. And also your chassis batteries are in here. Um, this big thick wire here is from the solar controllers. So you've got two solar controllers hooked up to your thousand watts of solar, charging this um, 600 amp hours of lithium battery for your Explorer package. And in this front compartment here, we've got our Magnum Pure Sine Wave 3000 watt inverter. And we've got our automatic transfer switch, which is a surge guard. So it has a built in surge protector. And then we've got our two Victron solar controllers up top there. Those are Bluetooth. So you can see what's going on through the Victron Connect app and see how much you're charging at. All right, up front here, you can tell this is the M2106 chassis. That's the real truck chassis. You can tell because you can see the fuel tanks right here. If this was an RV chassis, it would have a fuel tank in the rear, but this is not an RV chassis. This is a real truck chassis, which gives you a little heavier duty frame. You've got um, the saddlebag tanks are 50 gallons each. They're on both sides up front. Um, and here's your DEF where you fill up your DEF tank and a block heater right here and let's check out that cummins engine all right the europa is powered by the cummins isb 6.7 liter turbo diesel this is a 360 horsepower engine with 800 foot pounds of torque so it's going to get you up the hills just fine while towing a heavy load and you can you can tow a heavy 12,000 pounds with this motorhome no problem all right, guys, to recap on the 2025 Europa 34 SS, it's got a flush floor slide, stacked washer and dryer prep. It's got a, a big TV across from the theater seats, a big 30 by 36 inch shower. And it's just a great floor plan with a lot of space, a private bedroom, and it's still a short length. It's just a 34 foot. This is my favorite floor plan for the Super C's and I hope it's yours too. So if you wanna take a look and see what kind of price we can give you on this unit, send me an email at brent at demartini.com or call me at 530-615-2544. Thanks for watching.